Hello, my name is Jurgen, and welcome back to Armored Warfare. This time I'm in the LAV 300, a very, very strong vehicle from what I've seen other players playing of it. It's very fast, as you can see. It's also got a very good 90mm gun. At this point in time, I hadn't unlocked all the ammunition types, so I'm stuck with Heat and HE. However, the Heat has a almost five second reload actually so does the HE what am I talking about the gun <laughs> has a five second reload almost but the heat has around 400 average damage which is pretty intense if you consider the DPM you can get on this machine however as it is a wheeled tank destroyer it is reasonably hard to be effective in terms of mobility compared to a tracked vehicle and what I say why I say that is you can't turn in place with a wheeled vehicle unlike a tracked vehicle so that is one drawback but as you saw at the beginning it's reasonably fast however it's covering is awful Fox is also another uh, tank destroyer I think or possibly an AFV but definitely a wheeled vehicle at least is very fast and really annoying with those ATGMs. Missed, unfortunately. And if you haven't noticed, we are in a tier 6 game in a tier 4 vehicle, so it is plus 2 matchmaking. I read somewhere it was only plus 1, but that's not the case, as you can well tell. And this is really unfair for me because every other vehicle is at least tier 5 except the two artillery pieces, the M109s on each team. Thankfully one of the M109s on the enemy team has already been taken down. And I actually quite like the M109. It has a bit more damage and splash compared to that of the Gorbastoika and <laughs> that's 378 damage. However, staying out in the open for too long would mean my demise against those RDFs, Rapid Deployment Force Light Tanks. Surprised I got that shot because the heat does have a slower velocity compared to that of AP ammo, AP SFDS ammo. Uh, well, all types of AP ammo are generally faster than heat, I believe. But we've only well, we've done a reasonable amount of damage already, 1173, but only in three hits. T-72s are quite hard to penetrate with heat rounds, especially if they go into the tracks. And I really wish I had my AP ammo at this point. But like I said, I haven't unlocked it. It's one of the last ammo upgrades you unlock on this vehicle. Expeditionary tanks, though. Nice 360 damage. I think it's around 360 to 400 damage, which is quite nice indeed, especially with the 5 second reload. I'm not sure if you can improve it any more than that with a retrofit, but it would be nice. Expeditionary tank is out of range. And it's annoying because this T-72 is <laughs> behind solid concrete. Identified. I'm backing up at that angle, and now I'm spotted. As you can see, his gun turns and there's a huge yellow spotted. The advantage of having a wheeled tank with multiple wheels on each side is, or a wheeled vehicle, is the fact that you can seem to get away very quickly even if one of your tires is done. And you have to wait about 7 seconds to repair the wheel by remaining stationary, as you just saw. I think I might invest a bit more time into this vehicle, as well as the LAV600, which comes later, which I hear is a very good tank. Along with, I think it's an ERC. I don't really know many of the tanks in this game yet. Recently, I unlocked a XM8. XM8? No, I didn't. I unlocked an XM1, which is the tier 6 tank before the M1 Abrams. 
so I've been having a lot of fun in that. It has very nice composite armor. As you can see, I can't pen him with heat, I don't think, so I'm firing HE. I might have been able to pen him with heat, now I think about it, but doing HE damage is better than doing no damage. And that expeditionary tank goes down. Or the experimental tank, as it looks like. It's abbreviated to. But we only did 7 shots, but we did 1712 damage in a tier 4 in a tier 6 game. Also, I haven't mentioned the fact that the armor is useless on this vehicle, because it doesn't really have any. I think it's aluminium, so it has a 0.9 coefficient against most ammo types, meaning it's pretty useless. But as you can see, almost 6,000 experience for a times 2 premium. Second on the team, did a reasonable amount of damage, considering and 10 spots and there's a huge breakdown of statistics which I'm not going to talk about but yes the LAV 300 not a bad vehicle I need to invest more time into it but from what I've played so far it's a pretty nice vehicle indeed so if you enjoyed the video please be sure to leave a like down below and as always I've been Jurgen this has been Armored Warfare and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one